Hi Cancer, this is your romance or love reading for May 2020. And I'm using the romance deck in the Enchanted Tarot Dream deck. Oh sorry, Enchanted Dream Tarot deck. And um, if you are new, welcome to the channel. And please subscribe and hit the bell on all. You've got three choices there, private or none, or the bell all. Um, if you choose anything else, then you won't get notified. It notified uh, only if you click on all. And I hope you're well and safe, my sweet Cancer. And uh, if you would like an extended reading, then you can find the information below the uh, video. Also, if you want to make, would like to make a donation before I go live for a special question, if you can't pay for a super chat in the live or super sticker. Then I'll be notified and then I can um, uh, answer your question in the live. I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday and tonight I'll be going live as well. And obviously you can, you can also click on the little white dot in the screen. That will take you to my website and there you can see the updates and the readings on offer or special uh, offers uh, if I do any. And also you can see the series of the witch there instead of plowing through the playlists on YouTube because I also do interviews and reviews on decks and interviews with authors. I've been lucky enough to do that with Monica Brovinsky from the House of Shadows and um, also Yasmin Westwood, the author of the uh, Enchanted Dream Tarot. Okay, so let's get started with your reading. And uh, also, it, with now it, with uh, the crisis that's going on, I would like to thank all, not only the nurses, they are getting recognition, but it's the firemen, the policemen, it is the um, uh, um, shelf fillers in the supermarkets so um, that do not get enough recognition. I'm really thankful and grateful and I hope you stay safe. Thank you for br uh, making it able for us to get our shopping done. Okay, if you enjoy this video then please like and share with family and friends and thank you very much to my cyber angels my faithful truthful cyber angels for doing that and coming back without you this channel wouldn't be anything like it is um, I think we are awesome we are the cyber family and everybody that comes into the life becomes a cyber angel okay enough said the first card is not a very positive card unfortunately but remember if this does not resonate with you have a look at your moon sign and your rising sign and you might want just want to do that um, anyway then you get a better overall picture of what your uh, month could be it says unrequented love so some somebody is not paying attention look at her she's looking away this could be him as well uh, that is just doing the gesture and he's not really interested he's just being polite like in the old days everybody and gentlemen would greet a lady like this so somebody is not uh, really in love anymore there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going now that could be it but why because it is really funny and that's what i like about the cards they give you a clarity if you use clarification cards and you've got the six of ones and the six of ones means you have victory so i think you are going to talk you are going to communicate with each other and find out what the issue is why there might be um uh, a bad time because we all have ups and downs in our life and in our relationships it doesn't ha just have to be a roman uh, romance or love relationships it could also be with our children and um, that sometimes 
the love isn't there or doesn't feel as if it's there so I think you are going to fight for what you want usually it's a man coming back from the Holy Grail uh, a knight and he has won so he's got public recognition so there is recognition that something could be of an issue um, but you will have victory because this is the victory card you are going onwards and upwards you're going forwards um, there will be better times perhaps the ba uh, the balance is out of whack and this is the six a six is balance and also uh, happy times so you might be taking a short break or moving home perhaps that is what is necessary to have a short break because the six of wands does mean an, uh, a, a, a break you need time out you need to go outside and I know everything is on lockdown but you, perhaps you might even um, uh, if you've got a garden you might even be creative enough to put a tent out or do something so you can spend time with your loved one if you are hooked up and if you are not hooked up but just going out um, you're halfly hooked up then perhaps um, you might just do something as a surprise and um, put a tent out there and have a break or put a party tent up and have dinner with candlelight and see what happens and talk about it and you will um, have victory uh, in getting clarification perhaps it's because somebody's not feeling well and somebody else is um, uh, too busy uh, too much in their head could be you or it could be them um, well you might be recognizing there is something uh, aloof here with that there's not enough love or cuddling or canoodling or time alone because of the kids and you've been wearing a mask perhaps it's you that's wearing the mask and not your partner some something is not n somebody is not being honest and open they're wearing a mask just for the sake of it someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship you need to get talking again and communicating you are feeling out of whack somebody is I think you are because you know there's something not quite right it doesn't feel right <coughs> excuse me you've got the five of pentacles and remember you might feel out of sorts although you've got public recognition you might not have their recognition and so do something about it if you are too much at home or if you are too much on top of each other it can be very frustrating being locked up and being there 24 7 with the same person and kids running around if you haven't got kids um, then it could even be more uh, frustrating because you are only there with each other and you need space everybody needs space so go outside and take the dog for a walk or just go around the block if you are allowed in some countries you are allowed especially go and do some shopping <coughs> and if, if but remember you've got the uh, heaven gates here so in the angels do have your back if it was not in a lockdown situation I would say uh, join a, 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 a club or go and do something once a week so you can maintain freshness in the relationship be creative you will succeed you will have um, success and victory and well what did I say go and do something bring the freshness in so if you have an apartment go to the other side of the apartment start doing something on a uh, on the computer or ma start making videos uh, make a video album or uh, a photo album um, to uh, recapture the memories be more playful playfulness don't be too serious to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine make something wonderful that's I didn't even see that card and I already started to say go out into the garden 
put a tent out in the garden and pretend you are somewhere up in the mountains or wherever you wish to be. Go camping. Just pretend. Make something fun. Be light-hearted. Let your inner child um, come out. That is what they fell in love with. Don't wear a mask, but also uh, get the communication started. That's the most important. You ha you have the magician. This could be in the third week. Okay, this could be in the third week. You have the magician. The magician means that you've got all the talents and all the things you need to make it happen. You've got the sword. That means communication and wisdom. Boom. Get the clarity. You've got the pentacles, so um, spend a little bit of money. You don't have to spend a lot. You don't have to spend anything at all except for food or candles. Um, but you can also make new things out of old. Be creative. Uh, you've got the wands come into action. You have to work for it. You know that you have to work for it, that otherwise you cannot get the recognition. Number one is a new beginning. You can do it. You've got everything, but you have to come into action. You have to have the emotions. You want the feeling. Boom. So get that playful child or your inner, uh, your inner child out there. Express your love. And you can, if you don't want this relationship uh, to continue, then uh, you might let your inner child come out and look for something new. Join a club when the lockdown is over and get a new love in your life. But you have to put yourself out there. So express your love for yourself. Then you can express love for another. Take care of yourself so that you uh, can take care of others. If you don't do that, you can't do it for somebody else. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. If you are not hooked up, like I said, make that romantic gesture of love to yourself or for yourself. You have to love yourself first before you can love somebody else. Now we've got the King of Wands here and the King of Wands is Aries. So you might be meeting an Aries or you might be hooked up with an Aries. The King of Wands, um, you can take a page out of his book. When he wants something, he goes for it. He stands for action, passion, uh, creativity. He's creative enough, like the magician. Um, he's got all the powers. He's creative enough to get what he wants, and he goes for it. No wild horses would drag him away. He hasn't reached this stage of the King for nothing he goes after what he wants okay you've sown the seeds apparently so now it's time to wait and let them grow before they can come to fruition Ooh, nice one so there is somebody in your vicinity or around you that is um, giving you recognition if it isn't public recognition so you know uh, if you are not hooked up, there is a fire sign for you, Cancer. And don't exclude the uh, Leo or Sagittarius, okay? Within the next few months, you will see the change. So long you keep the communication going, if you're hooked up, and get that communication going with this uh, fire sign. Go for what you want. It does, doesn't have to be a, a fire sign, of course. If you are in love with a Leo or a Scorpio or a, a Libra or a Gemini or a Taurus, then show, express, express your love for them or that you fancy them so that you can make a, a connection with them and get hooked up. And in a few months' time, you will see the difference. You will see whether they love you or not. And if you are presently hooked up and you are work going to work at it, both of you, you're coming into action and you work from it and you're open and honest, you will see the changes even sooner. Okay, Cancer, I hope you have enjoyed this reading um, and I wish you well and stay safe. 
and remember I go live on Monday, Wednesday and Friday so please join me in the live sessions with the cy other cyber angels. Okay, take care, God bless and be blessed. Thank you for sharing and liking.